Hi everybody, my name is Connie, also known as Tutu. I've got five grandkids and I am a crafter and I love to craft. So we wanted to show you some of the things that I made and then in the future we're going to start crafting and hopefully you'll join in. If you have any questions, please ask me. I'm not a professional, but I uh, also look at uh, YouTube and Pinterest and other ideas. I do research on books and other artists and they inspire me. So I just see something and then I go ahead and try it out. It's a lot of fun and it's very rewarding. So let me show you some of the things that I've made. <coughs> uh, you might have seen some of the crafts that you do with paper. And this is a Christmas tree that I made. And then I put jewels throughout to make it look beautiful. And I even pinned a little gold on it. I think it's very attractive. People are just mesmerized by it. I've made bowls, plates, and uh, Christmas trees. It's a very beautiful art, and it is very inexpensive. And that's what I like to do. I like to make crafts that are inexpensive. Let me show you right here. I usually get magazines that people are throwing away, newspapers, anything like that. And I cut them up in little strips. Okay, and then I have my little bag ready because sometimes I like to work on different crafts. I don't like to stay on one craft all the time. If I get tired of one and then I start moving on to the next one. So I'll just show you exactly how to do that. Hopefully next time uh, we are in my craft room here, but I'm in the middle of moving into a bigger room, into a bigger craft room. I'm so excited. Uh, we're doing a lot of work to it. We're painting, we're cleaning, we're doing the baseboards, and it's a lot of work, but it's going to be worth it because we're going to be able to spread out and even do more crafts. And I hope to get my grandkids involved so that you guys can see how fun it is to do it with grandkids. I also do quilts. I'm a beginner. I took a class or two, and so now I am attempting to do my own little designs. So this is one that I'm working on that is just circles, and circles and circles, and it's handmade. I hand stitch every single one of them, and then I might do a little design on the outside, but I plan on doing this whole quilt full of circles. At least that's my idea. But you know what? Things change because there's not a wrong way to do a craft. You can do anything you want to and it comes out just the way you wanted it. I also like to work with pennies and copper pennies. So what I did here was this was a tube where a poster came in from. I painted it black and this is a piece of wood that you get anywhere like Joann's or Michael's and then I painted everything black and then I, I glued the pennies on and then I put uh, some varnish on the outside not quite finished yet, but it is going to be a piggy bank. I'm, I'm using gold leaf, which is actually copper leaf on here. I'm going to cover that up. And so it's a piggy bank for pennies and your change. This is a really fun, inexpensive project to do with kids. And it's very attractive, actually, when you put it in the corner somewhere. People are like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. And it was so easy. Just save your pennies and glue them on. Also, skipping around a little bit, here's another quilt that I made. Um, this was a lot of fun and it was pretty easy. So I can show you if you're a beginner, believe me, I'm not a perfectionist and I cannot, you know, compete with some of the people that have been doing this for years, but it's a lot of fun and it's very easy. Um, I've also done some doggy bags. Uh, you put, you know, when you go walking your dog, and you want you put your bags in there and you want to put the poopy bag in there when you take it home then you can throw it in the trash i kind of have done that it's very nice and then over there is for the plastic bags that you can uh right here yep plastic bags that you can uh store those at home that's also fun and we use all of our plastic shopping bags as poopy bags because i save the money i don't like to buy poopy bags i'm saving money on that too Another project that I'm starting to work on over here is this cute little table that I found at a thrift store. It was such a steal. It was awesome. So what my idea is to take some of the letters from the game Scrabble, and I'm going around from thrift store to thrift store and buying the Scrabble games, which don't cost very much, 
and then I just want to go ahead and make different uh, letters and just cover up this whole table with Scrabble letters. I think it's going to be pretty cool, unique, different, and I'll probably give it to my mom because she really liked that idea. And right behind you over there, I also paint. That's one of my paintings. Um, it is the sun going down into the waves and I just feel like that's kind of like life, you know, life with the sun sets and just a reflection of all the wonderful things and people that you have met through your life as you're going through your journey. Right next to it, there's a flower pole, if you don't mind pulling that out. Um, this pole was just um, made because I cut the material, of ma actual material flowers and glued it on here. It's not quite done. It needs the final polyurethane cover. But it's just kind of fun to have it sitting in a corner. And it's different, unique. I've never seen anything like it. So I kind of like to do that. I like to step outside my box and, and do fun things that are unique. Over here, here's another bag. So you can walk your dog and keep all of your, your cell phone, your poopy bags, all of that in there so that you don't have to hold on to that stuff. No, that's not good. So that's just the beginning. Wait till I show you more stuff that we're going to do. We're going to do so much. I love to paint. I like to do the stained glass. I like to do uh, the decoupage. I like to sew. I mean, this is my sewing machine right here, but I hope to upgrade soon to something. Let's see what I have in here. I got fun toys that I'm going to be playing with and some scarves. I'm really working on some patriotic things right now. Getting ready for the 4th of July next craft show. And so I'm just doing some fun things that are different and, uh, and attractive. All right, you guys. Next time I want to show you my new craft room that we're moving to. It's so big. It's got so much light. I can't wait. We're painting it right now. It's going to be beautiful. Can't wait to share that with you. And so many more crafts. Okay, thanks so very much. Have a great day.